Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a legend to a matrix plot in R. So in video number 57, we learned how to use the matplot function to uh, plot a line chart of a matrix. The matrix we used was uh, Field Gold's um, basketball data from the NBA.com and I have downloaded some of that data for a 10 year period for 10 players and I've stored it in a, file, a CSV file called 58 underscore data underscore file dot CSV. This file as well as all other CSV files and R scripts used in this series of videos are available in my GitHub. Uh, you'll find a link to that in the information box on, below the video on the YouTube page. So let's go ahead and uh, read read this file and store the the matrix uh, into uh, Field Goals MBA. So let's run that. Uh, I'm going to run the print command just to, for us to get a look at the data. We can see that our our, our data for different well-known basketball players over the years is is displayed. These are the number of field goals that each player has scored during each season. And what we did then using the matplot function was uh, we plotted. Um, so let me run the matplot function. We transposed the data and uh, chose our types and shapes and colors. And we saw then what our matplot looked like. If I zoom in on this, uh, these are the data. So we've got uh, different lines and shapes for each of the 10 players over the 10 year period. And we can already make out some uh, trends and uh, get some, gain some insights from this chart. But of course, what is missing is a legend to tell us which shape and which colors of the shape belongs to which player. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in this section down on the bottom left hand side of this chart. I want a legend to give me some indication as to who each uh, each player is on this chart. So let's close that down. And I'm going to use the legend function to do that. So if you go to the help tab and type in legend, uh, you will get some information about uh, and description and all the parameters that can be used in the legend function. And you can see that there are quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to use some of these to get a simple legend on my basketball data uh, chart. Now, the first thing I'm going to need on the legend is I want the legend to contain um, the uh, shapes and colors of the symbols on my chart. Let me click back on that. So we've got, you know, black square, green triangle and so on. So I want each of these on my legend and then the name of each player beside those. So the names of each player, I'm going to um, paste the, uh, some code I've already written in here to give us a look at the 10 names of the 10 players. So I'm using the combine operator to uh, combine all the na players names by text and to store them in a vector called players NBA. This is going to make my legend uh, function a little bit easier to write. So it's time to write the legend function. So L-E-G-E-N-D, open and close brackets. The first thing I'm going to indicate in the legend function is the location on the chart where I wanted it to be. So I want mine to be in the bottom left hand corner. So that's just a simple process of typing in, 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 in inverted commas, bottom left and outside the inverted commas uh, a comma and I want my chart my legend to be inset ever so slightly from the bottom left of my my uh, pre my map plot chart so I'm going to use the inset parameter and set this to 0 0.01 you can experiment yourselves with different values uh, for the, uh, the inset parameter here then I need to indicate, well, what text do I want in my legend? So there's a parameter called legend. So a little bit confusing that there is a parameter called legend within the function called legend. Um, and, but here, in my case here, I have stored the text for my um, legend in the players NBA vector. So I could, of course, have had, in this case here, put all of this code using the combine operator. I could have taken that and put it in this location here in line 19, but I think you'll agree it would make my legend function a little bit more awkward to read. And I might want to reuse this vector in other, other parts of the analysis. The next thing now is you can see that my symbols have colors and shapes. So I want my legend to match, match these exactly. So I'm gonna go back up and look at the matplot function. You can see on line 10 is where using the PCH parameter and the call COL parameter, I have indicated the shapes and colors of the symbols on my chart. So I want my legend to match this exactly. So I'm gonna copy this piece of code and paste it in, in, into my legend function because I want my colors and shapes in the legend to be obviously matching exactly with what's on the chart. And then finally, just a little bit of a tidy up here. So I'm going to set the horizontal uh, parameter to false. And I'm going to use the CEX parameter 
0 0.05 uh, to um, reduce the font size. A CEX will, 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 do, will do that for me. Again, you can experiment with um, different values here. So before I run this, let's recap. I'm using the legend function to position the legend on the bottom left and inset slightly on the chart. The text of the legend comes from my player's NBA vector, which as you can see from line 12 to line 16, contains the names of all my 10 players. The uh, shape and color of the symbols in the legend are going to match the shape and the color from the math plot uh, function that we used earlier on. And finally, we're just tidying up our text here and reducing the font size. So let me run this. And you can see that my, my previous plot is still there and it has add, added the legend on top of that. So if I just zoom in on these details here, uh, we can see that we have a readable legend with different color coding matching the, the lines on the chart. So I can see, for example, the black square uh, is the line indicated by the top left one here. And that shows the number of field goals scored uh, by uh, Kobe Bryant over the period. And you can see then all the other players, how they have performed. And you can now gain a uh, lot more insight into the uh, number of field goals scored over a 10 year period for these 10 players by visualizing the data using both the math plot function to plot the lines you see here, and then the legend function to add some meaning to your chart. So that's how you add a legend to a, to a math plot in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.